watching and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Meredith and here on YouTube, I make tons of lifestyle, cleaning and homemaking videos. I am an elementary school teacher and a wife to be and my favorite, one of my favorite seasons to decorate for is fall. Christmas is probably a close second. And today I'm gonna walk you guys all through my house and show you where I've gotten all of my home decor from. I'm gonna do my best to tell you where I got things from and give you tons of ideas and inspiration for your own home. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you. And let's go ahead and get started. So I wanted to start by sharing this newest home decor piece, this super cute mat from Target. And it is the first thing that you see when you walk into the living room. And this is what the living room is looking like for this year. I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an overview before we dive into each thing. So filler pumpkins are a great way to decorate your home inexpensively. A lot of my small pumpkins like these are from Hobby Lobby or Walmart and you'll see a few different candles throughout the video today too. I'll be sure to mention some of those scents as we go throughout the video. But this is the entertainment center and the chair that sits right next to it and this pillow is brand new from Target this year. It is one of very few pillows that I got because I just don't need any more pillows or blankets to be honest but this one just went so perfect with my decor I couldn't pass it up and then again more of those filler pumpkins like I said you can get those in pretty big packs from places like Walmart and Hobby Lobby this really pretty floral arrangement I want to say I got from Kohl's last year which is not a place that I normally look for home decor but don't pass up any store that has home decor especially places that have coupons you can often find really nice things to complete a space this candle was from the dollar spot at Target just adds a tiny bit of light for only a couple of dollars and then down here on the bottom of the entertainment center I've just got a few things that I keep out year-round this is a great way to decorate inexpensively mix and match things that work for any season with some things that are for specific seasons and then up here on the top I have a lantern with a few pumpkins and some greenery in it just on this corner and then of course Josie is making an appearance again <laughs> she will make many appearances throughout the video I'm sure but I really like how this turned out I didn't want a ton of stuff up on top of here because it just gets a little bit too cluttered. This is the blanket ladder that Jack and I DIY'd last year and I will leave that video linked in the description box for any of you that love to do simple DIY projects to spruce up your house. This was a super easy thing. We did attach it to the wall just because of the cat and the robot vacuum. Those of you with small kids may wanna consider doing the same if you have a blanket ladder or you wanna make one. And I just keep neutral blankets and then change some out seasonally. The mantle and the fireplace is the heart of the house other than the kitchen and it's the first thing that you see when you walk in the front door and it's probably my favorite place in the whole house to decorate. So many different ideas and things that you can do here. So I like to keep it simple. I feel like you could add even more if you wanted to but this room isn't too big so I'm gonna let you guys know where everything is from. All of the florals in here are from Target Dollar Spot this year and the Target Threshold Collection. So you can mix and match inexpensive with things that cost a little bit more. All of the filler pumpkins, same thing, Hobby Lobby or Walmart. And then the greenery is from Target as well. It was actually from their summer collection, but you can always mix and match things for different seasons. I tend to like more neutral things, so that's why I left this here. You could always opt for a garland that had some more oranges or reds or yellows if that's what you like. And the candlesticks are from the Hearth and Hand collection at Target right now. And I just love to stick pumpkins and pine cones all throughout the greenery up top here because it really just makes it feel a bit more fall. And then down here on the hearth, all of this stuff except for the two small pumpkins are from the Target dollar spot, but the hay and the two other pumpkins are from Walmart. And this whole thing was super inexpensive. I went ahead and left the hay in the plastic packaging just in case the cat wanted to like tear at it or eat it. 
if again, if you have small kids, you may want to consider the same thing. And then I put this container with the firewood in here. We don't actually burn fires in the fireplace, so I always decorate on the inside. So this is real wood. It just kind of gives it that rustic touch. And then I've got a cute little welcome autumn sign. It's dual sided. I think the other one is a little bit more for Thanksgiving on the other side. And then I always have the candles in the lantern down there too. They're battery operated and you can find packs of candles like that on Amazon or at Walmart or I even saw a pack the other day at Sam's Club. But I like to keep the couch simple. It's an old couch so I just kind of cover it up and throw a couple of pillows on it. And I wanted to mention the scent of this candle for y'all. It is pumpkin cinnamon bun and it smells so good. I'm all about functional and decor being cute at the same time, so I don't overdo it on the kitchen table. I've gotta be practical. This is an eating space and sometimes a drop zone or a workspace too. So the woven chargers are from the Magnolia Hearth and Hand collection at Target. And then the pumpkin on top of those was from the Target dollar spot this year. I've had that cake stand forever, I wanna say home goods, and the little ring around the candle is from Hobby Lobby. And I believe the candle on the inside was also from Target this year. Bath and Body Works candles are really good. I also had this pumpkin pecan waffle one, but the Target candles this year have been really, really good. They're way cheaper than Bath and Body Works candles. And I think the smell is on par with them. So save yourself some money and try out the ones from Target. I like to keep the kitchen pretty simple. I've got a fall towel out. This rug is perfect for all different holidays and seasons. It's just plain buffalo check. I got it from Hobby Lobby and I use it pretty much all year round. I feel like it tends to fit in a bit more with the fall and winter decor, but it is super cute. And then I would love to figure out a way to almost declutter this area. I have all of my drawers completely full. I would love to declutter the utensils there and just kind of make this area a little less crowded. Any ideas in the comments would be super appreciated. I've got my soap, lotion, dish soap, all that. I even thought about maybe mounting the paper towels under the cabinets. I know some people do that, but I haven't decided yet. And this is the corner that's the most cluttered, but honestly the most necessary because it's the coffee station, Nespresso, Keurig, and then all the coffees to go with it. I guess I don't necessarily have to have those out. I could put those up and then pull them out when I need them. But my pride and joy is my tiered tray, and I love this thing. I love decorating it for different seasons. Pretty much everything on this tray is from Hobby Lobby. The little picks at the top are from Hobby Lobby. The rolling pin, all of the pine cones and pumpkins. The only things that are probably not from Hobby Lobby are those rattan looking pumpkins. Pretty sure those were Target this year, but I just love getting creative with tiered trays. It just makes everything feel super festive, decorating one for each season. But here's another look at the kitchen. Any ideas to declutter and make this a little more simple? Let me know in the comments. to not go crazy with decorating other rooms in my house the guest room I didn't touch at all but I do have piano students that come to the studio to take piano lessons so I did want to set out just a couple of small little fall decor things so I've got a candle that smells like pumpkins in here and then I've got this little glass I guess container or vase with just some filler items. You can get the filler at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. I've got pine cones and little mini ears of corn in there. I just think it looks super cute. Again, it doesn't cost a lot and it's not crazy. Just a couple of subtle fall touches can just completely change a space.
same thing in the bathroom. I didn't go too crazy. And since this is the only current working bathroom in the house, I do need to keep it pretty low key and pretty decluttered. So on the sink, I've just got a hand soap, a small candle and a pumpkin. Pretty sure that the pumpkin is from Target or maybe even home goods, I'm not completely sure. But this is just a nice way to kind of decorate the space, but it doesn't take up too much counter space. Again, with it being the only bathroom, I don't want too much clutter. I've got a cute little buffalo check tissue holder, and then this shelf was the last thing that we added to this bathroom. I found it, again, at Kohl's for super cheap with a coupon, and it's just shallow enough that I am able to put a little bit of decor on it to get some decor off the counters and then get it higher up. Use that vertical space when you can. But now we're gonna move on to my bedroom and y'all, I love my bedroom so much. I feel like it is just the perfect mixture of cozy, a little feminine, not too feminine, and very neutral. So it's great to decorate for different seasons. I feel like almost any decor that I have works perfectly in here. The bedding is fairly neutral. And again, I'm pretty sure the bedding is from Kohl's. And if they still have it, I'll try to link it because it's really great bedding. And then over here on the dresser, I've just got like a dresser scarf or honestly it may even be a table runner but it works great to protect the top of the dresser and then I've just got this little tray here with a few things again a lot of this stuff is neutral decor so you can use it for different seasons and then I just put a small candle up here just so it wasn't the scent wasn't too overwhelming I thought this one was super cute from the Target dollar spot and then this pillow on top of the white bedding just really makes a statement I think that a pop of color like that again inexpensive but super effective I always keep a blanket at the end of the bed like that for Josie because she likes to lay like at the end of the bed and stuff so that's always there for her but again such a great inexpensive way to add just a pop of color to your room didn't really decorate this area over here for fall just put a couple of throw blankets and a pillow or two and there's me waving goodbye because that is it for today's video I hope you guys enjoyed it got lots of inspiration and thanks for hanging out with me today if you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I will see you guys again really soon with a brand new one bye guys mm -hmm.